Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you a plugin I've been working on for a little while called English to Other Language Dictionary. It's actually a translation dictionary. Um, you know, if you're going to Italy and you speak English, you get an English uh, Italian dictionary. You look up a word in English and it gives you the relevant Italian terms uh, or the other way around. Uh, so I wanted to do this in Sibelius for the most common languages of music. Uh, so Italian, French, and German. Um, and I guess, you know, that's my opinion. I'm sure the Russians think uh, there's more terms in Russian. But, but uh, anyway, maybe one day we'll have those. But uh, I started with Italian, German, and French, and that was quite a bit of work, so I stopped there. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be clicking on a word in the score I want to find the Italian for, for whispering. See, uh, this score is going to a German publisher, so they usually put the English and the German for anything that's uh, just in English, but the best solution is to have it in Italian, then you only need to use one language. Um, so whispering, uh, there's some good Italian terms for this, uh, I already know I guess, but if you didn't know them you could go to the plugin, and dialog pops up. Now it loads the dictionary, so depending on how often you run the plugin, it'll take more or less time. Uh, is what I found. Uh, so I'm going to translate the selection because I selected the word instead of browsing. You can type in a word here. And I'm going English to Italian, which is what it's preset to do since that's the most common uh, translation. So uh, you can go play around in the plugin. I guess I'll just show you some stuff real quick. You can add entries. So if this word wasn't in the dictionary or I wanted a new word, I could add it to all the dictionaries uh, in one swoop, or just certain dictionaries if I only know certain translations. Um, got your info here, which is just a little bit about the plugin, lets you know the website if you want to get new dictionaries and stuff. Uh, and there's an advanced mode, but um, I'm, I'm not going to release that one for free. Um, anyway. Let's, let's get our translation. And I want to replace the selected text instead of just print it to the trace window. Or I could print it to the trace window and replace the selected text. Or I could have it just come to a message box. But um, right now, I just want to translate a word with the least amount of work possible. So I clicked on Whispering. I translate selected. Choose the language, the, the source, and what I want to translate it to, and then what I want to do with my results. Then I click OK. Um, now it takes a second, uh, depending on how uh, long the word is, things like, you know, technical factors, um, but it's going to go through all the different synonyms for whispering. Um, and if there's more than one option for translation, it gives you them in a, a box here. So the best rule of thumb is the more it repeats, the more likely that's the best translation. Now, the way that this is working is uh, whispering may have different connotations, so there's different words for it. Um, so the more that it's showing up, that means the more actual entries in the dictionary uh, whispering shows up in. So, murmurando seems to already be twice. Uh, well, this is a double also. Uh, Memoroso has a double, but now Memorando has three. Uh, so Z, three. So, um, and then what you should do is if you have a little tie, go with the first one. Um, that means it's the most common, uh, not the most frequent, but the one, you know, I compiled a few dictionaries, some are more technical than others. So this is the one that also, the first one is usually the one that also shows up in a standard Italian English dictionary, not just this music specific one. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Memorando here. I'm gonna click OK. Now it's gonna tell me, it put it to the plug and trace window, because um, we told it to. I'm gonna clear and close that, and then I go to my score and it, re it put it in there. So uh, that's how you do it, and if it's in the wrong case, oops, I cat box on. If you're in the wrong case, you just change it. Uh, all right, well, I hope you guys liked the plugin. Uh, it was a lot of work on that one, and I hope you guys might find it useful, especially you engravers who have uh, a lot of responsibilities to act also as somewhat of an editor. Um, 
you can email me at uh, musictranscriber at yahoo.com. That wasn't very helpful. There you go. Um, yeah, just send me an email, or you can check out the website, which is musictranscriber.xbuild.com. And you can actually get uh, a bunch of these plugins uh, through that website. I hope you enjoyed.